You know what it's like when you go to the kitchen cupboard and there's nothing there and you think, well, what am I going to cook tonight? I'm sick of rabbit, uh, what else can I do? Well, tonight I'm going to try and make a curry. So we'll see how we get on. No, we're not going to eat it today. We're going to be fattened up. We'll let that one fatten up, I think, before we cook him. Sorry, I'm covered in fluff and straw now. Uh, yeah, tonight I'm going to try and do a curry. And I'm pretty much making it up as I go along. I've got onions, uh, some sweet potatoes, some carrots, some fresh tomatoes, uh, some uh, meat of some description, not too sure what it is. of some description, not too sure what it is. Uh, meat of some description, not too sure what it is. And uh, lots of herbs and spices, so uh, we'll just see how we get on. So the first thing to do is to get a pan heated up, add some oil, then slice up some onions. I think I used uh, three small onions here. Put them in the pan. Then I chopped up some sweet potato. Uh, they went into the pan. And then some carrots. And they went in as well. I just left it to sweat off for a few minutes. Then get another pan, a bit of oil in that. Dice up the cat, uh, I mean the meat. And the meat goes in. Then delicately cut up the tomatoes and gently place them in the pan. If it looks like I'm just cutting them in half and tossing them in, then that's because that's what I did. And before I get a lot of hate mail saying that this is not the way to make a curry, I do know I went out with an Asian girl for four years. Her mother was a brilliant uh, cook. Um, so if you're not happy calling this a curry, just call it a spicy stew. Then go over there, uh, try and remember what you wanted, pretend you didn't really mean to, and then remember that you actually wanted some uh, boiling water. Then we'll add some spices. I think that was thyme. Uh, I'm not sure what that was. Didn't use that. What's this? Uh, I think that might be garam uh, masala. A bit of that. Um, what's that? Could be paprika, I think. Um, I think that's chili powder. And that, I think, is ground coriander. Let me just, yep, definitely. Beautiful smell. I'll have a bit more of that. Nothing like fresh coriander. Uh, that's cumin. Uh, no idea what that one is. Uh, that's a bit of white pepper, brown white pepper, and that, uh, no idea, could have been cumin, not too sure, um, and then a couple of bay leaves as well. Add the water, once the meat's done, put it in the pan, so we'll see how that tastes. I think we're going to need some salt, yes, definitely need some salt. Never pour it over the pan in case the top comes off. And I'll just have another taste of that. God, that's good. So that's been bubbling away for a couple of hours. Uh, I've put a lid on it, turn the heat off, leave it overnight. Uh, let all the flavours come out and see what happens. And we'll try it tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching. Do you expect me to talk? Oh. Not 
can you say? 